Good morning. This month is Apple Preserving Month, and I bought two bushels of Honeycrisp beautiful apples from the mountains. This is my last batch to cook today, and I have put up apples um, by the slice in a light syrup. I have made cinnamon applesauce. I have made um, maple apple syrup that can be poured on pound cakes or ice cream or whatever you'd like. Pancakes and waffles, this is absolutely delicious. Has a really good maple syrup flavor to it. And um, my last project was the apple butter. And this turned out so good, y'all. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna do one more batch of apple butter for Christmas presents because this is delicious and you slow cook this overnight in your slow cooker and um, it just reduces down to that nice thick butter so and then i also did a dehydrator tray full of apple chips and cinnamon apple chips so i have really gotten a lot out of those two um, bushel boxes of apples but september is the month that you you really want to get your apples are good and fresh and if you can get near the mountains or to a good farm produce stand, get you some apples because it's wonderful. Now, all the recipes that I used came out of the um, Ball Guide to Preserving. This is, this is about worn out, but this is my favorite book. And this is where the apple butter recipe came from. So I'm going to show you how I made that um, step by step using the recipe in this book. And I will leave the recipe in the description box below. If you follow me for a long time, I just want you to know that I do have now an Amazon storefront where I have all my canning equipment, including this book listed. So if you're new to canning and you don't know what to get, I'll leave a link below to my Amazon storefront and you can go and you can look and see what all the things that I have. Do a little shopping. I get a, just a tiny commission from that. But it is helpful to see all of the products that you can get to help you with canning. And the number one that I would say to start off with is this book because it's awesome. So let's get started making some apple butter. Now the first step is to wash your apples and peel them. But let me take a moment to say the recipe did not call in the book for you to cook this in the slow cooker. This is where I am kind of going a little off the recipe because I want that good slow cooker taste that you get. So this is a step I added in. It's perfectly fine. It won't hurt the product at all. So I'm going to put all those apples after I have peeled them using my little peeler and put those right inside my slow cooker. So that did change from the recipe. The next step, I've got all of the apple slices in the canner and I did not worry about the browning because we're going to start cooking those immediately. So I've got two cups of brown sugar and two cups of white sugar. The brown sugar gives it that deep molasses type flavor that I love. Now in the spices, I did add some spices to this recipe and they're in the recipe below. There's cinnamon, ginger, cloves. Um, and allspice. So you just stir all this together. You don't have to get it perfect because as it cooks the sugar will liquefy. So I just tossed it around a little bit. We're going to put that lid on and start our slow cooker process which is about 20 hours. So I've got it on low. I'm going to put this on low and 10 hours. And about every three hours, I come in and stir. So this is my first stir after about three hours. You can see there's no more sugar stuck to the apples. It has liquefied. So I'm just giving this a good stir to make sure all of those spices get mixed in real well. And then we're just going to put the lid back on and let it go. About six hours later, and you can see they really softened up now. And I'm just stirring it again. It's got a lot of juice in there, but that's fine. We will cook that down overnight. So one more good stir and put the lid back on. Okay, one more check before I go to bed. And it's been cooking for about eight hours. 
you can see the color is starting to darken. I'm just giving it a nice stir and then I'm going to cut it back on for 10 hours and then go to bed. Now the next morning, this is what it looks like. Look at that. See how beautiful and dark that is. And I'm going to take my immersion blender and finish blending in all of those apple pieces. So I just run this through here um, rather quickly and I've got it cut back on low just to heat it up one more good time before we start canning in the jars. So I have everything mixed together. There are no more apple pieces. It's just a nice thick butter. Okay, now it's time to jar this up. And for my second batch, I only have pint-sized jars, which is fine. I can use this um, for my personal use because I've got plenty made up for gifts. So I'm filling that up to a one-inch headspace. I'm going to debubble. And then, of course, you wipe your rim very well. Sometimes I look at it and I think, oh, I can get just a little bit more in there. But you want to leave um, a good headspace at the top. Wipe it off, and then we've got our lid sitting in hot water and put a ring on it. And then I'm going to be putting that in my electric Presto canner. This is water bath, but that thing just works so nicely for me, and I just love it. So... Um, I'm going to put all the jars in there. I got five pints out of this batch. And I've got it set for water bath um, 10 minutes. And of course, it will let me know when it's done, and then I can take the jars out. Okay, we're all done. That didn't take long at all, just 10 minutes in the um, water bath canner. So that batch made five pint size. And this is for myself and the grandkids when they come over. These 11 little um, half pint size jars is for Christmas gifts. And I put a cute little label on the top of it. It says Mimi's Homemade with Love Apple Butter. So these will be going in gift baskets for Christmas presents. But I love this recipe. I love how I tweaked it um, from the book and put it in the crock pot and let it slow cook overnight because it really does cook down to a nice consistency. Adding the cloves, the ginger, the allspice with the cinnamon, all oh, that makes the biggest difference. And also using half brown sugar. So this is just like the... Um, apple butter that I grew up with. My grandmother would spread this on a piece of bread and I'd have an apple butter sandwich and it's so good. So I'm going to taste test this batch. Oh y'all, that is the best. That is the best apple butter. I'm going to love this on a hot biscuit. Mmm. Y'all got to try this recipe because it's really, really delicious and easy to do. You toss everything in the crock pot and then you just water bath can. So if you're a beginner, this is perfect for you. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the Amazon storefront where I have that immersion blender listed on there. That makes a big difference too when you're blending that and it makes it so creamy and delicious. So give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching. Have a very blessed day. Thank you.